Whew, all right, Portillo's Hot Dogs. Second video of the day, Portillo's Day. There's a hot dog in this bag. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, Portillo's Day, my first visit to Portillo's. The uh, first uh, time Portillo's has been on the channel. I've already reviewed the Italian beef uh, sub or the Italian beef sandwich. Uh, if you missed that, it will be linked at the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing their regular, what is this called? The Portillo's beef uh, hot dog or the uh, Portillo's dog. Uh, we'll have to double check that. Uh, and then to end the day, you're gonna see this. I give you a little sneak peek of that. that is a chocolate shake with a slice of uh, chocolate cake into the shake and mixed up. Uh, but here is the Portillo's beef uh, hot dog. It's in this uh, wrapper right here. We're going to check it out. Here we go. All right. All right, let's do this. It's got, I don't know, celery, salt, uh, tomatoes. Uh, what else is on here? Onions, I think. There's a lot of stuff on this. And uh, here we go. Let me give you a little look-see. Uh, check it out right there. That is a Portillo's beef hot dog. Let's take a bite. Whew, all right, uh, what did I say? Uh, celery salt, uh, relish, onions, mustard, maybe no ketchup, uh, tomatoes. We're gonna have to double check all the ingredients, uh, but that's what's going on right there. A beef dog from Portillo's Chicago style. Are we gonna go on a limb and say Chicago style? Let me know in the comments below. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Gotta have that snap. Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, a place that I believe is based out of Chicago or that area, that region, if you're not coming correct with the snap of a beef hot dog, then you're not coming correct. And this had that snap, all the flavors in there. Not a huge fan of mustard, not a huge fan of uh, tomatoes, but I do like all the other uh, accoutrements all the other condiments that are on top of this. The uh, bun is nice, has a nice uh, flavor of the uh, beef dog. Uh, I will say it's a little small, but it was $3.79, I believe, for this. You can get a larger size. I believe it was called the Jumbo, maybe, uh, when I was looking at the menu. Tons of stuff on the menu. Has a nice vibe inside of like the, uh, I don't know, 50s, 60s diner, something like that. Uh, but I don't know. I like it. I think all the flavors work together, even though if I'm going to make a hot dog at home. I'm a little more plain. I like it with ketchup. I like it with relish and onions. Uh, maybe a couple other little things uh, from time to time. Uh, I would never throw a tomato on here, but that's just me. I would never put mustard on it, but that's just me. I know. I'm not a guy. I don't love mustard. I love honey Dijon. I like honey mustard, uh, but the uh, yellow mustard, I just grew up. I don't really love the flavor of that, but when I do these reviews and it has mustard on it, I keep the mustard on and I tend to like it okay, but it's just not something I'm going to do at home, if that makes any sense. So uh, let's take another bite. Mm. Tomato wanted to come along for the ride. Don't worry. All right, so listen, uh, after two items from Portillo's, uh, I am really happy that I was able to finally try it. It's been a small bucket list of mine uh, for a while, especially this one right here that you're gonna see later in the day, the uh, chocolate cake uh, mixed into the chocolate shake. Uh, but yeah, I really did enjoy that hot dog. I'm not a huge hot dog guy. If I'm going to a cookout, I'm gonna gravitate to a uh, cheeseburger most of the time, or if they have some nice uh, grilled chicken options. Uh, hot dogs, I just have to be in the mindset, and I was in the mindset today because I was visiting Portillo's uh, and I was happy to try it. So let's give it a rating on a scale of one to 100 with one meaning don't even waste your money and 100 being the promised land of I'm going to give the Portillo's beef uh, dog hot dog a rating of who let's go. Um, for a hot dog, all the toppings, being fresh, 
Um, let's go 80... Seven. I'm going to go 87. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge hot dog guy, but for a hot dog, it was okay. Do a shot every time I've said hot dog in this video. You're on the ground. Thank me later. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, uh, light up the comments. Uh, Portillo's Day. I hope you're enjoying it. Like I said, I got one more uh, video to go. It's the dessert. And then uh, we'll call it a day and uh, put a little bow on uh, Portillo's Day. Uh, but light up the comments on your experiences over at Portillo's. Did I get two of the better uh, food items uh, from this place? And uh, we'll go from there. So uh, thank you so much. It, uh, it was a pleasure. I can't wait for you to see the review of this one right here. Uh, I hope it is everything that I've seen uh, online and on television shows uh, cake and a shake uh, stay tuned for that later and we'll see you soon with some more reviews bye